bless his name make sure you are praying inside outside jesus is lord father we bless you shiba kapronda kariada balada bosh can you go ahead and express yourself in the spirit for a few minutes am prata kara soto prende kaliada bosh am brada gada balada bosh Maga brando kafre de kozge brende kola prasti frazi melene bosh. Zata paro kapari anda kabala da bakare bosh. Mam preste baria da bosh. But ye building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and pray in the Spirit. Shi ba 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 ba. We draw strength from the Spirit. We draw grace from the Spirit. Building yourselves like an edifice on your most holy faith. Enlarging your capacity to believe God and to believe spiritual things. Send the prakate baladabos, rakata baka barakate baladabos. But we speak this wisdom among them that are mature, even the hidden wisdom of God that none of the princes knew. For had they known this, they would not crucify the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I has not seen. Nor ear heard, neither has it come into the heart of any man what God has in store for them that love him. But the Spirit of God has revealed it unto us, for he searched all things, yea, the deep things of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Blessed be the name of the Lord. Every time you come before God's presence, it's important to come with an expectation. It's easy to get familiar with God's presence. Hallelujah. Your respect and honor for God's presence is not automatic. It takes a conscious cooperation on your own part. To realize that every time you show up before him, he has something new for you. Hallelujah. It is that revelation and that consciousness that keeps you. So that no matter how much of him you know and you see, there will be a longing from within for more of him. Tonight, Lord, show us something we have not seen before. Teach us your way. We humble ourselves in the name of the Lord Jesus. Spirit of truth, we give you free access. And we pray that you bless us. Change us transform us we are that army we are that victorious generation the ones who will bring glory and grace to your name the ones who will lift up the banner of your righteousness of your grace of your power and of your wisdom to the nations lord we declare that tonight you will visit us in a way in the name of jesus let there be a reign of revelation, reign of insights. Challenge us, build us, equip us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Revelations 19, 18. Revelations 18, quickly. I hope you came with your Bible. Hallelujah. Many of you who don't come to church with your Bibles, please repent tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 4. 
Revelations 18 verse 4 and I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people and be ye not partakers of her sins that ye receive not her plagues verse 5 for her sins have reached unto the heavens and God had remembered her iniquities Lord we pray tonight that you bless us let your word come alive let your word transform us in Jesus name amen quickly be seated God bless you please pick up your bios I'll be examining a very important topic we're starting a new series hallelujah it's our desire that as believers we be grounded and established in truth Paul prayed for the church and he said that they be built they be grounded and they be established in truth this is what spiritual growth is all about spiritual growth is not just about praying in tongues or laying hands and getting people up the bible calls those things the basic things of the kingdom the doctrines of the laying on of hands and all of these things but there is a higher call there is a higher realm hallelujah the bible says that we be built we be rooted or grounded then be established in the truth hallelujah that's why the bible says in ephesians chapter 4 that he gave unto some apostles and prophets and teachers pastors evangelists for the edification the perfection the building up not for tradition and jamboree for the building up of the saints that they the saints will do the work of the ministry hallelujah that we all as the body of christ will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of christ not being tossed through and fro the bible says by every wind of doctrine hallelujah and so it's not enough for us to see miracles and to see the manifestations of the spirit if you build your life and your faith upon just miracles and the manifestations of God as good as that is they are signs hallelujah and our faith must be built on a sure foundation the Bible says he that hears my words and doeth them is compared to he that builds his house on a rock dig deep and builds his house on a rock the Bible says the wind came and all kinds of things came but he was unshakable but the one that built his house on sand and let me tell you something the body of christ has many sands in which believers are building their faith upon and our goal is that every one of us comes to a point where we are established in christ that we know him paul said but i know whom i have believed and i'm persuaded that he is able that's what it means to be a strong christian to be a strong christian does not just mean one who has the ability to pray four or five hours wonderful it's not just one who has the ability to fast for 100 days wonderful not just one who has the ability to quote scriptures or be in ministry or walk in the miraculous these things are good elements of spiritual growth but there is a level of steadfastness establishment where you are grounded in the truth hallelujah where you know the lord the bible says let the rich man not glory in his riches let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength but let him that glory had glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth me this is the pride of the believer that you know the lord beyond religion beyond quoting scriptures hallelujah the church has been weak and beggarly primarily because the ministers have not been able to bring the church to a place of strength and maturity where every believer knows God and has a testimony and a track record of a personal work with God beyond the boundaries of ministry. Your knowledge of God should not be just the God of Joshua Selman or the God of Koinonia. 
there is a name that must come out of your experience with God. Hallelujah. The saints of old encountered God in practical ways and they named God after the residue of their experience with him. And while it is good to know him as the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, God of all the men of God in this country, it's time you develop an experience of being established in the person and the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Because when you know him, you will experience the fullness of him. And this has been my passion for years. To bring believers to a point where we know the Lord. Hallelujah. For they that know their God, Daniel 11, 32b, they shall be strong and they are the ones who will do exploits. Not the Christians. They that know their God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego say, Oh king, we will not be careful to speak to you in this matter. He said, Our God will deliver us. But even if he does not deliver us, I will not bow to you. That's a revelation of God. The reason why the spirituality of many people and of the church in Nigeria is very slippery and very basic is because we have not contended for a greater knowledge of God. The knowledge of his ways, his principles, his character and his person. And this becomes our only hope for a victorious life. Hallelujah. I hope you have a passion to know God. To know him. Beyond the things that he can give you. Beyond marriage, beyond money, beyond friends, beyond a good CGPA. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Revelations 18 how that the kings of the earth had in, intermingled with Babylon. And there was a call in verse 5. 4. It says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. That means God is calling a kind of people. Come out of her. My people. It says, That be, ye be not partakers of her sins. Hallelujah. Let me show you something very interesting. Tonight I want to challenge us. Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 3. Paul is speaking here. Tonight I'm speaking on the apostate church. The apostate church. We're examining the concept of apostasy. In the body of Christ. Apostasy talks of a deviation from the truth. It talks of the error of shifting and drifting away from the original principles of God. And it will shock you as I reveal some things to you that happen in the body of Christ. It is so important. Bless God for being alive to listen to this message tonight. Hallelujah. Paul speaks about a generation and a time in the church age where there will be a reign there will be a prevalent manifestation of what he calls apostasy read on second timothy he was charging his son in the gospel timothy that he be established in truth and be a faithful bishop over the churches around verse one this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come this is a portrait of the apostate church for men shall be lovers of their own selves i want to paint the picture of the nigerian church for you and help me confirm whether or not i'm lying covetous boasters proud blasphemous disobedient to parents unthankful unholy verse 3 without natural affection gay marriage all kinds of madness that goes on. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure. Lovers of pleasure. 
more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness. Going to church, wearing nice suits, having ushers and protocols standing. Having a form. Having Bibles in their homes. Having iPads and iPods and all kinds of things. Browsing through scripture. Having a form of godliness. Say, but denying its power. From such turn away. Verse 6. For of this sort there are those who creep into houses. House prophets. Marching from house to house. Telling every house the problem they have in the world. And leading captive silly women laden with sins. Led away with various lusts. Ever learning. Bible studies on Sunday prayer meeting in the night self-fellowship on monday miracle service on tuesday deliverance service on wednesday word exposition and encounter on thursday standing on the rock on friday sitting in heavenly places on saturday ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth Now as Janice and Jembers withstood Moses, so this also resist the truth. Amazing that in the church of God, the truth is resisted. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further. This is the judgment of God upon these ones. For their folly shall be manifest unto all men. And theirs also was. He said, but thou hast fully known my doctrine. This is Paul speaking. My manner of life. My purpose. My faith. My long suffering. My charity. My patience. Hallelujah. 11. Persecutions. Afflictions which came unto me in Antioch. And all of that. Verse 12. Yea. And all that will live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. And then 13. But evil men and seducers shall become worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Let's read that verse together. Verse 13. Want to read. But evil men and seducers shall become what? Worse and worse, deceiving people and they themselves being deceived. But this is the encouragement to the true church. 14. But continue thou. In the things which thou hast learned and thou hast been assured of, knowing whom thou hast learned them. 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. 16. He said, For all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. Number one, for doctrine. Number two, for reproof. Number three, for correction. Number four, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God, the next verse, may be what? Perfect. The word perfect there is mature, thoroughly furnished. The purpose of scripture and the dealings of God with the saints is that he brings us to a point where we are mature established grounded built up in the knowledge of God the apostate church is that church that subtly begins to deviate from the doctrines and the principles of Christ the Bible says, ask for the ancient parts and walk ye therein. Unfortunately, what we call the ancient part is not what God calls the ancient part. Because what we call the ancient part is the traditions and religiosity of men and of denominations. That also is an error and is part of the trait of the apostate church. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me tonight? If you came here to be blessed, if you came here to know the Lord, if you came here to shake out the things that caused the great to fall, 
then welcome to this message tonight you must be able to open your spirit to receive for in receiving the word it will cause you to be established in truth hallelujah there are all kinds of apostasy in our church every kind of activity the bible makes us to understand the the next series that we're stepping into we will be examining the book of revelations hallelujah we are going to be opening up the book of revelations the word revelation comes from a latin word revelatio and the greek is apocalypsis that means the unveiling of that which has been previously hidden hallelujah it was a revelation of christ jesus as revealed to john a little bible history about john the bible makes us to understand that persecution arose when certain roman emperors began to strike against the church of christ and the first of them in bible history is called emperor nero he was a wicked and a hostile man hallelujah came to a point where they persecuted the church to a point that there was a field like a football field and they would parade believers and lose lions to chase them on account of their faith for the kingdom many were thrown into the den of lions many were dragged in carts hallelujah it was during that time that paul and peter paul was about to be crucified and bible history tells us that paul was about to be crucified the exact same way jesus was crucified and paul said he was not worthy he said they should turn him upside down and they turned him upside down and crucified him hallelujah And then after Emperor Nero, one called Domitio, the next emperor, he came in and paraded himself to be God and to be Lord. To a point that he even banished his wife and persecuted his children. He wanted everybody to call him Lord and God. So when John, the beloved, the one who Jesus loved, when he began to preach about Christ in the city of Ephesus, he began to talk about the counsel of God. Talk about the mysteries of the kingdom the divine life and the reality of the lordship of christ it was a real threat to the emperor hallelujah and then they caught john and paraded the people and they boiled hot oil and they threw john in it suddenly john entered the hot oil and nothing happened to him he moved freely through that hot oil and they were amazed what manner what dimension of the spirit what knowledge of god did this man have and as a result of that he was banished to the island that we call patmos revelations chapter one help us O oh god to be the true church the revelation of jesus christ which he gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must surely come to pass and he had sent and signified it by his angel unto the servant john who bore witness of the word of god and of the testimony of jesus christ and all things that he saw and there is a blessing there for all those who read and obey the things that are written in revelations and john wrote to the seven churches i'm driving somewhere hallelujah now you must understand that the way the book of revelation was was um was broken it told him write the things that were the things that are and the things that shall happen after hallelujah the things that were was a revelation of all the things that had happened before the church age the things that are is a sum total of what we call the dispensation of the church age encapsulated prophetically in the seven letters that were written to the churches there were truly seven churches in Asia Minor. All of the churches, Smyrna, Laodicea, and all of Pagamos, all of those churches. They were real churches that were planted by the apostles in Asia. But then prophetically, every one of those churches was a representation and a type, a dispensation of different ages in the church age. Are you following me now? 
and so he began to write to the churches and you would hear the lord commend the churches i commend you over this and that and that however i have a problem hallelujah god had a burden because the church of christ although they were walking in grace although they were walking in power certain men began to come in orchestrated by satan himself and he, they began to be injected into the system they talked like apostles moved like prophets prophesied like great men but paul said that these ones do not belong to us because their gospel and their message began to deviate the body of christ are you following me now this is one of the traits there are many doctrines hear me that many circles and ministries in this country are imbibing they teach it they write books about it these are erroneous doctrines that were sent from the pit of hell to deviate the focus of the church from the primary truth that it runs upon are you listening to me one of those doctrines was addressed to the first church in Revelation chapter 2 and Paul called it the doctrine of the Laodiceans the Laodiceans were a kind and a group of people that introduced a kind of doctrine another was called the doctrine of Balaam different kinds of doctrines and let me tell you something the church of Christ needs rapid emergency attention otherwise the way we are going to the church of Christ has now become a psychological hospital where the power and the grace of God has been replaced by therapeutic psychological things so a brother can sleep with a lady and they say we need to examine the mental state and the kind of drugs and the the psychosomatic condition and all of the medical terms the apostate church we find justification for everything in the body one of the doctrines of the laodicean is where today we get the doctrine of what we know to be the doctrine of eternal salvation that once you are born again you can sleep in the name of jesus cheat in the name of jesus bribe in the name of jesus that whatever happens to your body does not affect your spirit your spirit is saved and many saints jump and we say hallelujah and many are queuing up and they will receive a rude shock when they find themselves in hell are you listening to me different kinds of gospels came one of it is called the doctrine of balaam there's no time but do you know balaam balaam was a prophet balaam was a true prophet balak called him and said he should curse the nation of israel and he repeatedly wanted to make attempts but the lord stopped him you know why because the nation of israel were sanctified and a holy people and the shout of the king was in the midst of them and he had a strategy in the book of numbers the bible begins to reveal to us some of the things that he did he caused the nation of israel to begin to fornicate and sleep with other people are you getting blessed tonight i came to challenge you tonight and then for the men of god in this country we have a special let me show you something Jeremiah 23 I wish every pastor prophet bishop pope brother whatever that names the name of Christ will sit and read this scripture are you ready let's read verse 1 then we'll jump to verse 9 Jeremiah 23 verse 9 verse 1 and then we'll go to verse 9 are you there want to read woe
be unto who? Stop. Who is speaking? God is speaking through the prophet. He said, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of the pasture. Woe unto the pastors. That means there are pastors. There are men and women of God. They own parishes. They own churches. You watch them on TV. It says they destroy and they scatter the sheep. Verse 9. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. Now you must understand when the Bible talks of prophets... In ancient time, there were no apostles. Are you listening to me? Why? Because Christ has not been risen. One of the biblical proof of an apostle is that he must encounter Jesus Christ face to face. So, the apostolic ministry was also incorporated. And so, the prophets functioned both in the apostolic and the prophetic office. They were the only ones who God could use to communicate his counsel to the people. The priests barely mediated between the God and the people. In terms of sacrifice so when he talks about prophets there don't smile and say I was sleeping and I saw evangelist under my name you belong to that category and it's important to listen he said my heart within me is broken because of the prophets all my bones shake I am like a drunken man and like a man whom with wine had overcome because of the Lord and because of the words of his holiness this is the prophet speaking his reaction to the anger and the tenacity with which God was using to speak. Verse 10. For the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing, the land mourneth, and pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their cause is evil, and their force is not right. It looks to me like Nigeria. For both prophet and priest are what? profane both prophet and priest are profane yea in my house have I found their wickedness therefore their ways shall be unto them like slippery parts in the darkness they shall be driven on and fall into them for I will bring evil upon them even the year of their judgment said the Lord 13 and I have seen falling the prophets of Samaria they prophesied in Baal. Look up. They prophesied in the name of who? So not everybody that looks at you and says, you are Pastor Alpha. And you say, yes, sir. The Bible says there are some prophets who prophesy. And there are many of them in this country. Deceiving the sheep of God. Promising you all kinds of things. I hope you are ready tonight. I like the way God deals with you. Sometimes he doesn't tell you how he will come. Then you receive it down and it keeps you down. Let's hurry up. I have also seen the prophets in Jerusalem. So he was listing prophets everywhere. The men of God in Zaria. The ones in Abuja. The ones in Portacot. The ones in Wari. Then the legion of them in Lagos. They are here. The Bible is talking about them. He said, An horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen the hands of evildoers. There is no place like the church of Nigeria where we strengthen the hands of evildoers. Any Tom, Dick, and Harry can go anywhere, loot from the national treasury enter our place and buy a jeep for the pastor suddenly he becomes the holy spirit in the church directing the affairs of men the bible said they strengthen a man comes and meets a man of god and says ah uh, i'm about to embark on a trip or do something prophesy to me let me tell you something do you know because you have an unction from the lord you can speak over people and bless the works of their hands and it will prosper but the lord will hold you accountable because with that gift came discernment to glorify christ alone hallelujah it says 
that none doth return from his wickedness and they are all of them like Sodom and its inhabitants like Gomorrah therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets behold I will feed them with wormwood and make their drink the water of God for from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth in the land 16 we we'll read to 19 and stop thus saith the Lord of hosts hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you I hope you understand the context now it's talking about the false I like the way Amplified puts it it says the false prophets he said don't mind the nonsense they are talking about doesn't matter how flamboyant it sounds he said they make you vain and they speak a vision in their own heart and not out of the mouth of God everybody stands on stage I was sleeping this morning and the Lord woke me up and all, the Bible says they conceive that vision in their heart whose God is their belly that vision was brewed from the hunger in their belly and not from the voice of God. Verse 17. They say still to those who despise me. In other words, it shall be well with you. People who are obviously perverting truth because they drop prophets offering. They buy you a suit. They take you to Hawaii and you say it shall be well. A man is stealing another man's wife. You know it. You are aware it shall be well. The apostate church the Lord had said you shall have peace that's what they are saying and they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of their heart no evil shall come upon you is that not what a lot of people want that's what we want that's what we run to church for man of God I came with a small offering then the man says bless you I see the Lord is showing me something. Oh, glory, glory, glory. And now you begin to jump. Let me tell you why I'm teaching you this. Because the Bible says, it didn't say they will diminish. They will keep increasing. And if the church of Christ is not built to be grounded, then there is trouble for us in Nigeria. 18. For who had stood in the counsel of the Lord, and has perceived and heard his voice and had marked the word and heard it hallelujah let me tell you something verse 20 let's read on the anger of the lord shall not return until i have executed until he hath performed the thoughts of his heart in the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly verse 21 everybody read it together one to read yet they ran i have not spoken to them yet they prophesy is that in your bible or you removed it this morning he said i have not sent them joshua selma ministries international i was sent by jehovah jireh jehovah all kinds of things they say my god and my king he spoke to me this morning he said build me a people and they are destroying the people he said i have not sent them yet they did what they are not even walking Boy, there are ministries running in this country. One year they have established 30 branches. Everybody's running. The same deceit, the same perversion, and God's people get ensnared. Gullible because Satan knows how to lure you. He uses your lust and your needs to lure you into a trap. If Satan knows you don't like ladies, he will not bring a woman to you. What for? It doesn't work like that. He's smart enough to know that we respond to our needs. Hallelujah. The apostate church. Some of you belong to these churches. Some of you have enjoyed the things that they do they have taught us a lot of error they have deceived a lot of God's people right now everything in the church of the living God is money money can do everything 
the front row is determined by how many money makers or partners your seed is equivalent to your faith let me with time i'll be showing you where these doctrines came from because god has been speaking to many of you and there are many of you that are just waiting to finish abu so that you establish that kind of ministry you have planned it you have calculated it you have seen that it's 1.5 that will be your own every month you have you have drafted it and so you are crying they say fast and pray you will get power you are praying right now not because you love god it's part of the tools to add to the apostate church and i'm speaking to great men and women there's a lot of deviation from the truth of god's word and many of us have seen it we love it so much we like a congregation that comes to massage our evil doings and the house of god has been turned into a place of entertainment nothing wrong with joy in his presence there is fullness of joy not fullness of foolishness and stupidity hallelujah there are all kinds of nonsense that happen in the church there are football fans that sit in church seats kept for them arsenal fans man you they give offering according to everything they shout hallelujah according to their what what is going on in the body of christ how come we don't have a voice that can rise to speak we laugh at these things and it's misleading us there are men and women in the body of christ whose job is to match make the pastor's wife it is the one she sees and she says sam you are the head of worship uh zuera you always smile every time sam raises a song you must marry him any other thing is not the counsel of god now let me tell you something as you are laughing make sure the holy spirit is sinking this thing into your spirit because it's happening hallelujah we have all kinds of people the church of god has become a dome for people to look for contracts every tom dick and harry comes and tells the pastor he wants to sit down near this manager that comes and they say turn to your neighbor and say what do you do and the man of god let me tell you something judgment will come upon the house of god oh i assure you it will happen as surely as the lord lives that's why the church in this country has no voice politicians know where to run to for security they loot from the national treasury and know who to run to a prostitute comes to meet you you are praying for her you are seen in the spirit she's a prostitute why don't you call her in love and let her give her life to christ that will cost you what she's about to give you the prophetic seed The Bible tells us that a day will come. Listen to me. I want you to know that a day will come. Jesus Christ is coming upon this earth. And I don't know who has deceived you. But I'm reversing that deceit tonight. There is something called judgment day. There are two kinds of judgment for your information. Let me balance the nonsense preachers have tried to preach. Number one, there is the judgment that he who has not given his life to Christ is already condemned. Those ones will not make heaven. But there is the judgment that will judge the works of men. Are you listening to me? So that one is among those who are already believers. The word judgment should not scare you. It's bringing into accountability. Matthew 25. Don't open it. There's no time. But I'm showing you that there is such a thing. And the Bible says to those found worthy in the age to come they will be made to rule over kingdoms hallelujah we have taught all men all kinds of things you are the god of yourself bring out the giant within you you are one with christ i like you to say i am jesus everybody shouts i am jesus i like you to say i'm the galilean and they say i'm the galilean the doctrines that make the apostate church because this is exactly what satan did 
in Ezekiel 28. He said, I will exalt myself above the stars of God. Every time you sing a song and you say, Lord, be magnified. A lot of people say, ah, you are a new creation. You should step into God. Push him, he will push you. Even when you do something that requires true remorse to have a contrite and a broken heart. Say, there's no need feeling bad. Come on, walk up to that. Touch your, your, redemp your redemption or whatever you touch. And, and smile back. And so the leader of the choir is sleeping with every lady in the choir and touches his redemption back and smiles. Let me tell you something. There is judgment that is coming upon the house of God. Yes, there is. And it's going to come and it will start with we the men of God. And it will spread down. Do you realize that one of the talent that was collected was collected from one of the servants, not an outcast? Many people's giftings, ministries, and many things will fade before you. You will see it come in the days to come. Many prophets will arise as before. Suddenly they will see that the heavens have been closed. For what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? And what communion has light got to do with darkness? Your writing exam, 100 level. My practice took you to 200 level. You say, glory, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. What is your concept of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ? Can I tell you something? When a man of God stops preaching the things that he used to uphold he has started falling victim into that are you listening to me when a man of god cannot stand and preach holiness and righteousness the bible says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord he said he that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive a blessing from the lord and righteousness from the God of salvation. We want things from God. We want prosperity. We want money. And so we have been taught that a shortcut to it is to tap into the anointing of the man of God's life. And so what happens? We just sit down. We don't do anything. Right now there are prophets in Abuja that collect what we call battle seed. You pay and they labor for you in the place of prayer while you go about becoming the apostate church. So they pray. You pay them on payrolls. The man of God has prayer band praying for him and is there traveling around the world as if he's a tourist, drinking juice, changing every kind of thing, trying all kinds of wine. And then he comes, his suit is fixed. And he just flips through the scripture. Uh, let's look at Mark today. He just shouts. And for three hours of God's God-given time to his people. Stand there, waste people's time. You know how much I bought this suit? You people don't know, you are not yet in that level. And people laugh. Let me tell you something. It's time you begin to frown at some things. Are you listening to me? Because many of us, they have become mentors unto us. We love them. We admire them. Every time we see them, you imagine yourself marrying them. That imagination is certainly not from the cross of Christ. And there's need for radical re-editing. Many of us sit down and you already, listen, they teach we young people all kinds of things. Get rich quick. Do everything. Breakthrough can come for you in one week. I see my car. Look, I know what faith is. I'm not telling you that there is no place for faith. I teach about faith here, don't I? But I'm telling you there is a straight line between faith and foolishness. Are you listening to me? God sends the man to carry his tithe and go and sow. And he uses from the tithe. And the remaining 20%, he comes and explains everything to you. He says, God is a merciful God. Just take this one and just 
use it and use malt and with this effort you are doing just use malt and wash your mouth and say, ah, ah, my son my son you laugh over it right now the poor in church don't have a voice they are the ones who don't have faith they are the ones who sit outside who is your father who is your mother they are posted church we are laughing about it many of us are enjoying it many times they begin to teach us demonic things what they are teaching many people is what the bible calls new age new age new age they teach you all kinds of principles all in the name of the prophetic and many people truly begin to enter into the realm of the spirit and walk into all kinds of demonic things schools of prophecy where they gather people and pray and say now Aaron what did you see you must tell us what you saw and then everybody truly begins to see every kind of thing and we use those things and pervert the body and you look at somebody who is not called into the fivefold ministry and say Steve I see prophet in your name from today henceforth move in, the, in your might and Steve is struggling because the grace is not there and then you tell him to amplify his prophetic by bringing a seed for you. Now he brought the seed. How many of you have given seeds to fake people and you did not get the result? Everybody that blessed a true prophet of God in scripture received a prophet reward. Many of our parents work hard only to come and vomit all the money in the presence of gullible and wicked prophets. By the end of the month, they are in your house. They came for a prophetic instruction. They gather everybody out. How come people cannot think in the church? A man of God looks at a lady and says, strip naked. Quickly, quickly, is a prophetic instruction. And you see her hurrying up. Nonsense. The Bible lets us know that there is a more sure word of prophecy. Are you listening to me? A more sure word. It will not contradict the spirit of Christ. For the testimony the testimony of Jesus is the true spirit the motivation behind every prophetic word many believers right now do not have time for them and God you know why we are busy busy trying to look for money busy trying to look for husband and wife busy trying to look for jobs busy trying to do everything the Bible says, seek ye the kingdom and his righteousness. Those values are no longer preached. And we men of God celebrate it when people join queues and they are waiting for the anointing. And you see people as if Jesus didn't die for them too. For hours, they are helpless waiting for the stepping in of the man of faith and power. Joshua Selman. I'm not saying don't respect men of God. But why have you made them gods to your life? Hallelujah. A man marries his wife. The man of God will not let them flog out their issues and enjoy issues. Everything that happens, she will come to tell the man. The day she's pregnant, the man will know before her husband. Let the husband go and eat the baby. Where are we going? The apostate church intelligent men and women become brainwashed in the church and we begin to do all kinds of things the lord must arise and help us are you listening to me the people have come to a point where we love it so we are not ready for growth and any minister of the gospel that stands for this truth unconsciously the seed has been planted and we begin to hate those people i believe in new creation realities i have been blessed i believe it till death i believe in the operation of faith we talk to people and tell them nobody should die when somebody dies the church does not take responsibility they say go and bury the person it's a shame to our church we are the ones who live forever and they leave the person sad helpless 
going and he goes to meet his orthodox church that we always laugh at and then they are the one who conduct the funeral and laugh but let that person's business blossom and you will see claiming of members sheep stealing in the name of church planting everybody everybody becomes a son how come blind people are not spiritual sons to men of god but they are in our churches how come the ladies who are not fine are not submitting to the people everybody looks for the best the choicest and we yoke people with all kinds of demonic doctrines tonight there are two categories of people in this place those who will say and say this nudging in my spirit it has been there is a cry of the spirit and those who will just laugh you want true prosperity you want true power there are many young people in this country that we have been taught that a process is as a result of lack of faith so we teach people that now faith is if your faith is working the jeep should come now and somebody in 200 level is converting jeeps angry he will not sit down and read his book just shouting because we have misled them and a young man who has 50,000 that's all the money his poor parents gave him he comes to school and we put them under pressure because he's the head of department you must buy this suit with 45,000 to match our status may God have mercy on his church some of you have been victims of what I'm saying to a point that you are now enjoying it the man of God may not be fake but it does not justify the principles he's using hallelujah and the Lord brings us to help us know him righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne many people right now every time you talk about bible study a time of building in the world people begin to frown but once you talk of breakthrough night a night of receiving and taking take yours people say yes this is the kind of thing i like encounter with the spirit of elijah then they'll put semicolon speed yes we like it everything that bypasses the process of greatness and can i tell you something many of our parents look at us although they are not filled with the holy ghost but heed some of the warnings they are giving they may say young man i may not know god oh but i know this is not how he works Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again. Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face. Emmanuel when you come to reign we do not have people who can stand for christ and stand for truth they say if you cannot beat them do what many of you are hoping to finish school now and run to abuja your blood is already hot an year project i god let me finish this thing see i will shake the country so every time they are saying you are blessed in your mind what you are thinking is let me go and invade everything can someone walk up to you and drop five million naira over the integrity of your faith can you look at it without praying about it and say no i love god more than this don't be too quick to smile and nod your head because many generals who have fallen gullible were disconfident are you listening to me when a man 
will steal another woman's wife and come to meet you and say pastor bless us uh, as a token of my appreciation i have one small one you are not doing introduction you are a man of god and so you tell them i love you but this is the position of the word of god and i will not compromise it may cost you your fame it may cost you your reputation you may not belong momentarily notice what i'm saying there are many of you right now on account of your faith people have called you stupid because you are doing the things that god wants you to do that guy wanted to go out with you and he was so rich but you went to the lord and god said no way and your friends insulted you they say you you are the most stupid lady we know in this day and age can't you collect his money and go what is there about him sleeping with you but then you stand for truth can i tell you something there is a name that god is called he's called the lord of sabaoth and he's about to step in and prove those who truly love him can i tell you what the lord showed me one time i shared it that the works of men were like heaps hallelujah somebody told me about it and then i forgot about it one day when the lord showed me surprised me many men came to stand and their works just like wheat in the harvest and fire just passed it and then you just see something little left that's the real thing that they are doing for the kingdom can i tell you something you can live and be a billionaire in this life you can live and be an influential person you can have a church membership of two billion people but it is only the degree to which you walk consistently with god that will make sense in the realm of the spirit are you listening to me so many of you who have been taught that god's way is just to make you a millionaire overnight calm down there is something called a process sow your seeds today build your life today many who cannot stay with the holy spirit you can't study for five minutes because you have been taught that you need to hurry up there is no hurry in this life you know why i'm saying that because those that have been moving according to god's pattern will turn and find out that they are ahead of those who have been deceiving them there are many churches and ministries you are seeing today the day their harvest begins to come it will shock you because they are laboring bearing root downwards there are many men of god you hear today i remember years ago years ago abu has changed years ago you see a man of god small grace you touch one sister and she falls you see one pa one pa one this one that i remember those times i used to be quiet and i'll lock myself somewhere i was walking in the anointing walking in grace encounters with jesus but i knew the bible says john remained in the wilderness until the time of his appearing many people came with visions and prophecies josh we saw you in a tv station pfn remember pfn said they wanted to give us room to start eni in one of their branches all those things look like expansion in ministry but i knew that was not the season of appearing are you listening to me many of us have short-circuited our dealings and our trainings with the lord because we have been taught a false doctrine a false gospel when god is dealing with you and he has not finished you jump classes in the spirit now you come and establish a big ministry and those lessons you would have learned from the classes you jumped will bring you back and retrogress you in ministry even at the height of it every young man who can wear suit they just call him and say kneel down 
pour oil on him and say stand up I saw the gift of the spirit on you you are, an, you are a pastor you are an apostle and now this guy just got born again six months ago and they say forget the harvest is why the Babylon in him has not finished dying now he stands on stage and he sees Lara very pretty lady and the old man Cain is attempting to resurrect when Abel is preaching and that guy is struggling on stage he's laughing then he says come into my office and tomorrow you hear that something happens and people will say how far Moses stayed 40 years in the wilderness let me tell you something friends we must return to the order and the patterns of the spirit if we want to last and be great a lot of people do not go through the dealings of God suddenly one breakthrough comes they step into prosperity and they become fools the Bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them because they do not know the purpose of the blessings they were not taught are you listening to me tonight God is searching our hearts because he wants us not to be the apostate church there is a church like that in Nigeria I don't mean a denomination I mean a group of people parading all kinds of beliefs the church is becoming a psychological thing right now you go to churches and you see the the drawing of anatomy and they're explaining every kind of thing your subconscious mind your inner conscious mind the other one that is there where you are hot information goes through this place what is your university for And then the man laughs and says, Ah, so this is the side of me that makes me like women. So it's not even bad. Hallelujah. And we try to teach people principles of metaphysics and Christian science, mind reading. A prophet just comes and says, Come, Josiah. And Josiah comes. He said, now everybody watch. Wave his hand and Josiah goes blind. And people say, wow. That is certainly not the spirit of Christ. Because among all the things that God gave man dominion over, man was not mentioned. Are you listening to me? So that we tread the path of destiny with care. Knowing the word of God. Herbalists have found out that they are running out of markets and they now have left their their herbal joints and worn suit and say if you will not come to us we are coming there is a mountain in Abuja I think Manasseh will tell you when you go there they give you stones and you throw if by any means your stone does not hit the tree that you are trying to throw you will know what brought you there. So you want to marry or you want this. They bring it. And, and you throw. And if he hits it, you will rejoice. A man of God says in the name of prophetic instruction, bring the photo of the lady or the guy you want to marry. Or the kind of job you want. They say bring it. Now there is a place for that. But this is where the boundary crosses. They say now, put your seed upon it and bring it. Put candle on top. Go around it seven times. Do all of this. Is that not what native doctors are doing? I don't care who is doing it. There is a name. It's called witchcraft and manipulation. That's exactly what is going on. And many men of God are already building cabals. There is the cabal of the prosperous ones. There is the cabal of the handsome young men of God. There is their group. They are the ones who can shake ladies. When it's time to pray in tongues, they come and stand and do all kinds of nonsense. Tonight's message is ringing a bell in your spirit. We are going to pray. We have to be out of here. So, the apostate church. And there is a warning. It says that if you do not stay and you take on this doctrine, many churches have now become business centers 
different kinds of anointing oils different kinds of breakthrough handkerchiefs different kind of prophet's mantle they line them before you while service is going on and they tell everybody just come according to your needs but i know in my bible that there was a time that a particular sorcerer a man wanted to buy power from peter and he said thy money perish with you i'm not saying don't buy tapes don't buy anointing oil but if your purpose i went somewhere and the man was marketing books and he says that if you don't buy this book something will happen to the people after three days and you need to see the believers intelligent people some doctors everybody rushing why can't you just say this is my work i have labored and you can honor me and honor what god is doing is that not honest enough what is wrong with saying koinonia um if you consider me to be a servant of god bless me come and stand and twist truth the bible says handling the word of truth rightly men of god have gone to the extent of receiving all kinds of powers there was a case in kaduna i'm sure some of you heard about it the man of god that had a special anointing oil that he will rub on himself as he's stepping into the church come and see power everybody falling because the greeks seek for a sign hallelujah and one day he forgot to put the oil and then when he came he told his assistant to quickly run and check somewhere up and bring the oil and it so happened because of morning service the assistant pastor didn't take his bath he would bath later on and his body was white he said kai let me just quickly this kind of embarrassment and the guy just rubbed the oil small as soon as the assistant entered the power of god began to break out and the geo said you touch that oil have you? not fiction not fiction to the point that the church of christ cannot even know the difference between a true man of god and a false man of god a right spirit and a wrong spirit anything god cannot give me i cannot get from anybody anywhere he cannot take me i cannot go you must come to a point the the higher you go in the spirit the more dependent you are on him and his word he said i love your word more than my necessary food we must train a word carrying church hallelujah job said all the days of my appointed time i will wait until my change comes for your honesty in your job place you have not been promoted wait there will be the time of appearing let me tell you when god promotes you no man can demote you when a man promotes you you will need him to keep taking you higher but when the king of glory the one who watches over his word to perform it lifts you you are lifted forever there is a relationship between praying in tongues staying seriously with god's word diligence a life of purity and holiness and the anointing of the spirit when you see a man moving in the anointing and you do not see these traits something is wrong there is no guesswork about the anointing there is no guesswork about the word of god are you getting blessed tonight the apostate church tonight many of us need to deliver ourselves from religiosity and traditions of men that stop us from stepping in when we begin to examine the book of revelation we'll talk about the seven churches and will examine everything that the lord forbade in their lives but tonight my call is that judgment is coming upon the body there is judgment that will come upon the body and many churches will be affected many bishops will be affected many men of god will be affected many apostles many prophets will be affected not because god is a wicked god because the 
people of God have been perverted from the ways of God. It's time for everyone to get up and know God for real. Know his ways. Let the word of God not just become an instrument of devotion for you in the morning. They are life to those who find them. It must become your life that you say, if I perish, I perish. Faith in the operation of God's word. If God has said you are blessed, you are blessed. If God has said you are lifted, you are lifted. It doesn't matter what APU tells you. It doesn't matter what your parents tell you. His anointing is upon your life. You may not look like it, but the word of God tells you. You stop running from pillar to post looking for endorsements. The word has endorsed you. It has called you the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. We need a generation of men and women who when they come to bribe you, you will say no. No bribery. No corruption. Where if God takes you to a place of government, you will stand for truth. You will stand for justice. You will stand for equity at every cost. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. No bribery that you are seeing, you are in the exam hall. No malpractice. You know that you can copy and get an A and it will shift you from 2 to 2, two 1. And you say, no, I love the Lord. Not it does not matter. My spirit is seated with Christ. My body is seated in hell. hallelujah where you believe the lord where you stand for what is true the values of the kingdom the church has become a secular place any dumb dick and harry that produces any album just jumps on your stage and because we are looking for fame we don't know the difference between zion and babylon again the sacredness and the purity of the word of God and the songs of the spirit. And by the way, let me correct what you are saying. Many of you say, eh, hey, he's talking about rappers. I love rappers. that are born again, spirit-filled people. So let your religion not even think is what I'm talking about. I'm not just talking of those singing hymns. I'm talking of those who are truly born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, that Christ has become the center of their lives. That whether through raps, through music, whatever, they know that they are not just musicians and guest artists using the church as a ladder to climb to greatness, but that they love God for real. That when they come out to minister, I was listening to an interview by Frank Edwards, I love him so much. They say, how do you write your songs? He say, I don't write my songs. I spend time in the spirit and I receive them. Right now, everybody wants to get money. You just sit down and conjure one album. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You're my Lord, you're my Lord. Jesus, Jesus. And no life, death, standing and shaking itself in the church. And people are just nodding. They are just enjoying it. No lie. No lie. The person finishes his song and runs outside and is laughing. He's saying, Man, you should give me my honorarium. Let me leave. I have another meeting somewhere. And he said, You must give me my money in this place. We will drag this thing. Many of you are seated here. You are musicians. You are music ministers. The reason why God has not lifted you is because you have not listened to this message. Until he flogs out flesh and Babylon in you. Then the glory will begin to come by itself. We want a set. See, let me tell you why I shout and I say these things. Because now I have access to you. Tomorrow I may not have access to you. You will be too busy. So I kill it and bring it as hot as it is. So that you can listen it can sink into your spirit you may not like me but tomorrow you will bless me you will put my children in your school because you are happy your responsibility will make you a blessed man 
There is nobody who laughs during training. It's only in the church people laugh during training. They are happy. They say you are lifting weight. You want to compete with the whole world. You are smiling. No. Go and watch the Olympic people. For the place of training is a place of sacrifice. Sister, I know you are pretty. But permit me to flog out Babylon. Flog it out. So that your beauty can be as gold. My brother, I know you are nice. Let me flog it out. By the time I do that, let me tell you something. You will stand strong. God can make you the entrepreneur. You will be the next or third or last and the rest. But then, you will be a strong person. This time around, you will be able to stand and tell the world. And say, I love Jesus Christ. Next time, some of you will be the bishops. And you will remember. You will not be some of the bishops we have in this country with all due respect. You will know the difference between God and man. If this is my only assignment on earth, I am happy and I will do it honorably. Necessity is laid on me and the word burns in my spirit like fire and I must bring it out as it is. Come out from among them and be ye separate. Come out. The language tonight is come out from among them. Be ye separate. Don't adopt those philosophies. I'm not teaching you to be critical that every time you go to a church you are just trying to watch the mistakes of the man of God. No. 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 God does not use perfect people. His glory unwraps them and then brings them to a place of grace where they are dependent on his grace. However, there are some things that are not mistakes. It's called apostasy. The perversion of truth. Be careful the kind of men and women of God you allow to climb your stage. Men of God, be careful the kinds of meetings you allow. Now I'm not, this is, I don't go for any kind of ministration. Call it pride, call it whatever. People just come and meet you and through a phone, they say there's a meeting. Seven men of God are coming want you to come and honor them the next thing you see your face in the middle of witches and wizards they use your presence to endorse evil so when people see you they say ah if joshua selman can be here that means these people are nice then after the meeting the people say ah i'm that joshua selman's friend come and meet me at home and they say yes sir the same respect that's what has been happening in a lot of churches a lot of things because of honorarium everything you just go because we are afraid of our reputation you don't scrutinize and question and make sure that everything is lined up in obedience to christ hallelujah thank you jesus this teaching will make you strong this teaching will make you great. I tell you the truth. It may not mean anything to you right now. But I assure you. In the days to come it will separate you. It will bring you grace. Listen to what I am telling you. It will bless you. I will not teach you what will destroy you. This may be a hard teaching. But can I tell you something? Hear the voice of the Lord tonight. One day you will know. That a preacher was shouting truth into your spirit. Your spirit bears witness. As painful as it is, your spirit tells you I'm not lying to you. I will tell you what many men of God will not tell you. That's why we respect God in this place. We know the boundaries of offerings. We know the boundaries of character. We know the boundaries of everything. It's supposed to model to you something. We may not be the best of people, but we are certainly not the worst. And I hope that you see a desire to love God. Can your life be true? Can you be a replica of the true Jesus life? Can the anointing come upon you? And the glory of God will still beautify you. Can God make you a millionaire and a billionaire? 
and his kingdom will still be advanced can God make you an influential person in the government can God give you the anointing the power you want the fame the influence the charisma can God take you to the nations and still find your heart oh Lord I want to know your glory I want to offer a sacrifice of praise fill this temple Lord with your spirit once again oh Lord we want to know your glory we want to be the true church we want to offer the sacrifice would you feel this temple lord feel this vessel lord with your spirit once again these are the kind of people that will step into prosperity these are the kind of people who will step into charisma. The Lord told me something. I've said it here. That son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. That's what the Lord told me. He said, if you let men see me. He said, if I be lifted up, not Joshua Selman, not Koinonia. Don't make Koinonia an idol. Don't make Ian e an idol. Don't make Joshua Selman an idol. Or any of the ministers. We are only ushers. Pointing you to the king of kings. Like John the Baptist. We are the voice of that word that cries. We are preparing and making straight his way. If you come for koinonia. And all you end up doing is respecting Joshua Selman alone. And loving him above God. We have succeeded in manipulating you into witchcraft and idolatry. And God will judge us for it. We must lead you to the king of kings. The one who is above all. That all of us will stand before him. It's our job to ensure that you are successful in this life. That's why we teach you on wealth. We teach you on prosperity. We teach you on faith. We teach you on the principles of success. It's our goal that you become men and women of character. That's why we teach you on the fruit of the spirit. We teach you on the anointing. We want you to move and operate in the miraculous and the supernatural. That you be thoroughly grounded and established in truth. Do not be unaware of the devil's devices. We are going to pray and cry our heart to the Lord. We say, Lord, deliver the church in Nigeria and set us apart. You are going to pray for your pastor. You're going to pray for your man of God, your bishops. We're going to raise a cry. You will pray for we, the leaders, and say, Lord, keep them. Keep them. That 10 years from now, we will still be preaching this truth that we are preaching. And not allow jeeps and trips abroad. And millions and billions rise up on your feet. We are praying. Inside and outside, begin to pray. Pray and say, Lord, I come out from among them. I come out from among them in business, in ministry, pray, in governance. I come out from among them. I refuse to be part of the Babylon generation. I refuse to be part of the apostate church. That church that perverts truth, whose God is their belly. I'm driven by your passion alone. I'm driven by your passion. My heart pants for you in a dry and weary land. I love you more than ministry. 
I love you more than life itself. Pray. Say, Lord, I love you more than success, more than titles, more than CGPA, more than anointing, more than marriage, more than relationship. Lord, you have won my heart. There's no going back. In life and in death, you have won my heart. Go ahead and pray. Those of you in ministry, pray. I refuse to teach lies. I refuse to deceive God's people. I spend time with the word. I spend time in prayer. I get the Rema word of God. I stand for truth. I stand for righteousness. I stand for grace. That the anointing of the Spirit, that the prosperity of heaven, that the blessings of God will find expression. Pray. We are praying tonight. We come out from among them. We will not bow to bear. We will not mix fresh and salt water. We receive grace. 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 To be generous in deed. Grace. Generals indeed. Hallelujah. 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 Now you are going to pray for yourself. And say, Lord, I dedicate my giftings, my skill, my ability to serve only you. Whether you are a musician, whether you are a celebrity, you are a five-pointer. Open your mouth. Say it. Don't look at me. Pray. Say, Lord, from today, I will never use my giftings, my anointings, my ability to serve Satan, no matter what it will cost me. No matter what it will cost me in business, in ministry, in your family life. Pray and live for Jesus. I serve him alone. I serve him alone. No compromise. Everything that is not of God, Lord, take it away from me. Whatever, any fame, any prosperity, anything that is not of God, any association, take it away. Let only Christ be glorified. Any marriage, any relationship, any friends, associations, groups, sects. I love you more than silver or gold. I mean it. I mean it when I love you. Hallelujah. God is raising the end time army of real Christians. And that's our job. Finally, we are going to pray for the church in Nigeria. Pray for your pastor. Pray for your man of God. Pray for me. Pray for all the leaders. Say, Lord, keep them. Those who are already in apostasy, don't condemn them. But say, Lord, deliver them. Let light shine out of darkness. Come on, pray. Lord, we pray for your servants. Let light shine out of darkness. Every man of God, every church worker, 
Lord, we pray in Zaria, in Kaduna, in the north, in Nigeria. Lord, we pray redeem their soul from the deceit of Babylon. Redeem their soul in the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord, we build for every church in Zaria Lord that they will stand for truth we pray for the men of God money will not take their attention from you fame, power charisma will not take them Lord step in in your mercy, step in, in your mercy, and redeem the ministers, redeem our businessmen, redeem those in authority, redeem our bishops, our apostles, our pastors, our leaders, that Christ alone will be Lord that we will love you above and beyond the things that you give us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I was coming in from Abuja this evening and while I was coming I was just talking with the driver only two of us and something happened a car just came nothing was wrong brake did not fail nothing happened this car just came to hit us and then it moved in front of us and rode right into a ditch i watched it it moved right into a ditch i just stretched my hands and i said lord mercy mercy that was all i was saying how that it happened nobody died in that car not even a scratch but i looked and the driver told me he said i've never seen a very strange guy like that and he was speaking to me a different person i took him from abuja and he was telling me he said shortly before this car came suddenly he had a vision just in a split second like an accident and then i told him i said there are some people that are too jealous in the hands of god god would rather a nation die for their sake this is the true basis of immunity in the kingdom not this i shall not die thing no there is how you can be so useful to god that God will swear by himself to defend you. Hallelujah. And while I prayed this morning, the Lord gave me a prophetic word to announce to the house. I never speak a thing until God tells me. The Lord told me something. He said, son, for half of this year, you have seen great grace. He said, tell the people to brace up for glory. Tell the people to brace up for glory you will see things that will happen in the next few weeks that will shock you will cause your ears to tingle if i be a servant of god and if i be called by god i prophesy this into your life and i declare that you will see it happen in your life you will see it happen in your family you will see it happen in your ministry the Lord told me to declare that it's a season beginning from this eight month, an unprecedented level of glory, of increase. You will see prosperity like never before. You will see expansion as a ministry, as individuals, in your businesses, in your life, in your academics. I tell you the truth and I lie not. The Lord God of Israel will confirm this in your life. It's a season of glory. 
That's what God told us at the beginning of this year. He said, great grace. I'm not the kind of preacher that just sits down and laughs on the 31st and guesses what God is saying. No. It's in the bowels of much prayer and staying with the Spirit. If God does not tell me anything, I have no business announcing things. But let me tell you something. You will see glory that will shock you. I say this, write it, mark it. If it does not happen, I am not called of God. The Lord spoke to me this morning. He said, you have endured the season of great grace. Tell the people to brace up for glory. Brace up for glory. You have trusted God. You have enlarged your capacity. We pray 21 days. Praying and fasting. You have heard the word. I tell you prepare. Write it. Write it. You will see it with your eyes. Shocking things will happen in this koinonia. Levels of grace. You will hear men talk about it outside. Some will criticize it and say it's not of God. Some will say this kind of prosperity, this increase cannot be from God. But let it be that God declared it before the time. Lord, we give you praise tonight. We thank you for your grace. We choose to be the true church. Deliver us all, O oh God, from any form of apostasy. Let us be the true church. Oh, I declare glory. I hear it again in my spirit. Tell them it's a season of glory. Increase, prosperity, blessings, restoration, enlargement. That's what the Lord tells me to declare. And I declare it as he speaks it into my spirit. Lord, you will hasten your word to perform it. And our eyes shall see and we will give you thanks. Matthew 4. My spirit is fired up this night. Verse 23. Matthew 4, verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases. Listen please. Diverse diseases and torments and those who were possessed or oppressed with demons and those who had epilepsy and those who had the palsy and he healed them and there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from the Capolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and beyond the Jordan there are many of us who have come from different parts of this city and different states in this country the Bible says when they all came to Jesus not to a man of God he healed them all. I want you to know that the Lord Jesus is in this place. Are you hearing me? The Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. And by the grace of God, God has given us an anointing. He says, Son of man, prophesy to the dry bones. When he prophesied, he didn't say, Hear ye the word of Ezekiel. He said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the one who sent me to prophesy. So tonight you will hear the word of the Lord. And faith comes by hearing. Listen to me please. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing. The hearing comes by the word of God. When you hear the word of God. You get up. And you take action. Until you have taken action. You have not taken any step of faith. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Faith is just, it's not just about confession. Faith is about taking action. 
every time you do not take action it's a sign that you are still doubting is that true Bishop Oedeko said if it is truly the word of God if it is faith it will move you into action if that word does not move you into action hallelujah then it means it was not faith so you cannot move your leg and the word of God comes you receive it prove that you have received it by taking action and Peter held on to his hands and lifted him and the man leaping stood his bones and ankles regained strength take away your eyes from whatever problems please if you've not written your prayer request while you're sitting down just write it quickly we have to be very brief this night and be out of here praise the Lord so I want you to believe that you are in the presence of the living God God will not bring you to waste your time realize that it is within his ability to heal you do you believe that it is within his ability to change your story it's within his ability to anoint you there are many of us who have stayed at certain levels of grace for a long time it's time to move forward the Bible says ye have tarried around this mountain long enough turn ye not words hallelujah whatever it is that you desire the Bible says and whatsoever things ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou will have it so tonight you are the one that knows the problem don't wait for your neighbor to receive for you as the word of the Lord begins to come don't wait until your case is called the calling of the cases of people is just sign a sign and a wonder the Bible says Jesus was in the room teaching and the power of God was present to heal just like the glory and the power of God is present this night to heal to deliver there are many of you you have been oppressed by all kinds of demonic spirits you want to move forward there are strongholds keeping you down there are strongholds hear me please keeping many families down you do everything you know to do and there's no advancement everybody every lady in the family no marriage pretty lady no marriage it's not like you live the promiscuous life that devil will bow this night are you hearing what I'm saying there are some of you no job everybody in your family you went to school suffered for years nothing to show forth for it Acts 10 38 he said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power the Bible says he went about doing good and healing it didn't say those who were sick healing all day that were oppressed sickness is an oppression are you hearing what I'm saying that terminal disease is an oppression tonight don't give excuse for anything it's not your sickness are you hearing what I'm saying it's not your HIV yes you have medical reports but whose report will you believe tonight that's the question whose report will you believe whose report make up your mind some of you they have concluded about you as you are here right now scattered in this crowd inside and outside there are many of you everybody has concluded about you they said just forget this guy or forget this lady the person is a useless person but the bible says there is hope for a tree even if it be cut down at the scent of water let me tell you something many of you because of certain things you have done like Samson your hair has been cut this is the place tonight that that hair will grow back he said rejoice not over me my enemies for though I fall yet will I rise again are you listening to me this is the place the Bible says son of man what seest thou he said four horns 
these horns that have lifted up themselves so that no one will lift up his head in Judah. He said, but I will send carpenters. Carpenters. Hallelujah. There are many of you pronouncements and ordinances of wicked men have been decreed over your family that nothing good will come out of your life and nothing good will come out of your family. The Bible says, who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not decreed it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us victims of all kinds of satanic assaults. Ordinances and covenants of darkness that have been entered. And many of us are suffering things we have no idea of. But the Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Tonight, God will visit you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God will visit you. Uh, some of you here, you are tired, struggling like my brother shared, with all kinds of habits. You are a man of God, great woman of God. But pornography will not live your life. You have, you have fasted, you have prayed. As you are fasting, the devil is still mocking you. Hallelujah. You are still fasting, you are breaking the fast with sleeping with somebody. You are, it's not like you are bad. That devil is a liar this night. Because the hand of the Lord will be strong upon you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some of you, everything you lay your hands to do doesn't work. It will keep working for others till it gets to your turn. Make sure as you are receiving tonight, hear me, every one of us is representing at least a family. Are you listening to me? He said, as for me, and my house they didn't call all of them one by one somebody stood in the gap as for me that terminal disease eating your father or your mother it can bow this night because the bible says wherefore god has so highly exalted him he said and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name what will happen how many knees how many knees? Help me. How many knees? HIV, cancer. Every knee must bow. The knee that will not bow this night has not been created. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. Question Where was the handwriting written? There are handwritings, ordinances of darkness. Nothing happens to you until you get to a certain age. Suddenly, some things begin to happen. Some of you, as you are sitting, looking at me and hearing me outside, you are being molested by all kinds of things. You are sleeping in the night. All kinds of devilish things oppressing you. You are afraid. Nobody knows. See, this night, let me tell you, just humble yourself and open up your spirit. Are you hearing me? Keep your whatever it is and say, Lord, do something in my life this night. Hallelujah. Demonic things. The devil and his assaults. Joining the heads of people. Playing with people's destinies. There are many of you. You and your, you know this. You and your, you are perpetually living under a close heaven. But this is why the Lord brought you tonight. The name Miracle Service, we would have called it Worship Service. Miracle Service was given by God. Are you hearing me? It was, just, it was not just a name that was formulated. It's a Miracle Service. And your faith, your faith is that connecting pipe to the power of God. Kenny said something, but was it Kenny or, or, or Pastor Jakes now that said something? very powerful he said make sure that this night you are not watching other people some of you like watching other people some of you even came because of what you had some of you are critics you just came to verify a lot of things some of you came with a sincere desire some of you came sluggishly because you like a lady and she said i'm going for koinonia i said oh, love does everything let me tell you something redefine your priority this night are you hearing what i'm saying some of you are coming as usual some of you are coming because you are workers. 
He said, he that cometh unto him must believe. First that he exists. And then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I came here with an open heart. I began to tell the Lord from home. I said, Lord, I'm the first person. The Bible says, the husband man shall be the first partaker. And so I told the Lord, before you begin to touch the people, I'm not being selfish. Hallelujah. Don't stand watching people and say, why are they praying like this? Why are they jumping like this and celebrating God? You can get up, we will share the grace and you will go back. You will be watching. This is, this is the reason why a lot of people think miracles are fake because they have never gotten one. Every time people are open, say how can a beautiful sister like this be rolling on the ground praying and say God visit me. You are carrying your dignified self and God will pass you and touch somebody. And then at the end of it, you see people celebrating miracles and breakthroughs. Testimony is coming and you say it's not true. Why is it that there are only specific people? This thing is stage managed. If you open up your heart, that's what God told Cain. Cain was complaining why Abel was receiving breakthroughs and he was not receiving. God said, if you do what Cain did, will your sacrifice not be accepted? Participate in the meeting this night. Follow instructions diligently. When they say lift up your hands and say amen. Don't say please this lifting up of hands. This is the problem. Say my story must change this night. Say from your heart. My story must change this night. Say Lord. I know you are alive. I know you are powerful. I know you are able. To visit my life. Visit the works of my hands. Visit my health. Visit my family. And this night, I place a demand by faith that I will truly receive. Can I tell you something? If your heart is not open to receive, it's better to go home. You can do something meaningful with your time. You can go and read the Bible or do something else. But I advise you this night, don't be among the spectators. If you don't have an expectation, carefully think about it. There's no crime not having one. But get one. So that you are not in confusion. The Bible said, give us this day our... It didn't say, give us this day what we need. That's too ambiguous. Give us when? Specific time, specific need. Our what? That's what he wanted. Daily bread. So Lord, give me this day, this change of genotype. Give me this day a change of result. Give me this day a story. Lift my head, oh God. Let somebody know that a giant can arise from your family. There are some of you like Gideon. You are, your family is the least. And you are the least in your family. And you are busy hiding. This night the Lord is speaking to you. What are you doing on the ground, oh mighty man of valor? Do you not know who you are in Christ? Redemption offers us an opportunity to rise and reign like kings. Are you hearing me? He said, awake thou that sleepest and Christ will give you light. Awake. As that reign of glory comes. Some of you, what you need tonight is an upgrade of grace. The grace you have is there, but you have gotten to the limit of it. There are certain dimensions. Hear me, let me tell you something. See, grace is in levels. The Bible says he measured a thousand cubits. Is that true? Measured another thousand cubits. Those will open to you according to the degree of grace. Let me tell you the truth. It's not everything that is possible for everybody. Are you hearing me? I told you we are all equal in Christ, but we are not equal in grace. The prophet's servant took the rod the same rod went and laid it on the dead body. Nothing happened. Is that true? But the prophet came and did it. See, that it is not possible for you does not mean it's not possible in Christ. But tonight, Jesus himself, the Bible says, and if I be lifted up, tonight we have exalted him with all the worship. Christ is lifted up. You cannot come to his presence and those chains and shackles 
and they bound Samson. Some of us have been bound by limitations, by mindsets. The Bible says, but the hand of the Lord came upon Samson and that rope became like wax. Like wax. Many of you will shake out of some things this night. Some of you have been thrown into the den of the lion and people have forgotten about you. But can I tell you something? Your enemies will call your name and you will answer. You will say, I'm alive. I got into that dungeon, but before then, that Shekinah of God that preserves men, you will come out strong, come out wise, come out powerful, come out full of grace and tell them, I have a testimony. I know what it means to go to the valley of the shadow of death. But God, who can take a man from a dung hill, the Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Tonight, many of you will activate breakthroughs. God will connect you. Let me tell you something. Listen to me. The Holy Ghost gave me a revelation some time ago. He said, God is called the Father of Spirits. Have you ever known the meaning of that name? That means every spirit is subject to him. When the disciples came in Luke, in the book of Luke, they said, they came rejoicing, saying, Master, even the demons were subject to us through thy name. And Jesus said, do not just rejoice because the spirits. So he's called the father. Are you listening to me? The chief, the captain above every spirit, including the spirit of your destiny help us. And so if the father of spirits moves, he can move any spirit. Hear me? The Bible says Nebuchadnezzar did not sleep that night. He got up by himself. He said, oh Daniel, has your God been able to save you? May my God reveal himself as the father of spirits over certain families. The father of spirits. Every spirit. Listen. Habalists understand this principle. They can enter their coven. There's what they call summoning the spirits of people. Is that true? While they are sleeping, they summon your spirit. And the spirit of the person comes to the coven. They are trying to mimic God. God is the lion. Satan roars like the lion. Tonight, God will summon the spirits of men. Let me tell you the truth. And compel them to bless you. Hallelujah. He said, look up to Abraham, your father, and unto Sarah that bare thee. For I called him out alone. I blessed him and I increased him. I called him alone. This night is not you and your neighbor. I know you are going out together. Just leave that thing for a while now. Are you hearing me? It's not the issue of me and my neighbor or me and my family members. Oh, oh this guy is our neighbor in New Extension. Forget about that thing. I know mother came with father. Bro, forget about that thing and say, Lord, I will not let you go. I will not let you go. I will not let you go until something in my spirit breaks open. I will not let you go. I will not let you go. I'm provoking you to get angry tonight. Because what you are about to lift, listen, when you watch weightlifters as they lift weights, before they lift it, you see them shouting. They are getting themselves angry. Well, because when they are angry, an ability they cannot explain comes. This is what I'm doing to you. When I fire your faith, every unbelief that came with your situation, I know you trekked from town to come here, but can I tell you something? God is able to change the story of a man. Tonight, let's see that demonic report that says you will not bear a child. Let's see that demonic report that says you have fibroid and that you will be pregnant. Let me tell you the truth. My Bible tells me God opened the womb of Leah. God opened the womb of Rachel. It is God that opens a door. 
that no devil can shut and he can shut a door that no devil can open Revelation 3 verse 8 he said behold I know that you have little strength yet you have kept my word he said behold I set before you I set before you hallelujah we had a very touching testimony over the week of the favor of God hallelujah someone called us and a very professional web designer from Gombe State is the one that he designs for state governments their websites and he just called us he said koinonia messages have been blessing him opening him to dimensions in the spirit he said he has been stepping into new levels in his career and he said please i want to transport myself foot my bill lodge myself and come and build a free website for the ministry and i want to train the media team on how to maintain it everything free of charge how can you explain this see listen listen i don't say this thing see let me tell you something we tell testimonies because the testimony of jesus that means a testimony that was initiated by the spirit of the christ is a spirit of prophecy meaning it has in itself the ability to compel you to desire it and see it happen in your life hallelujah the testimony of jesus the spirit of prophecy don't sit down there and say can it happen you are seeing what God you cannot belong to a ministry that is carrying certain levels of grace and it's not working in your life get angry this night get angry he said I and all the children that the Lord has given me get angry when they saw the apostle they said he had been with Jesus Let me tell you this night don't you ever hear me don't you just leave him leave him don't you ever are you hearing me try to make satan make you think there is no hope that language of there is no hope is of the devil some of you are outside hear my voice because there are many voices speaking there are some voices telling you you will never marry ladies hear me some are saying because you live the past life look at how it is in your house what is your business with what has happened to mr abc the bible says a thousand shall fall by your side is that true they fell near you he said another ten thousand by your right side he said none shall harm you some of you hear me this night i'm serious about this marriage thing we are going to break this devilish yoke some of you have been laughing about it if you don't take it serious this night you will be surprised you are just saying i'm fine i'm fine don't get up and deal with it this night the bible says the whole world lie in wickedness don't let cartoons fool you this world is not a playground are you hearing me so when it's time to receive make sure you receive And the Lord is going to be restoring in this place. You lived a past life. You lost your womb. Who told you God has stopped creating? Read the book of Revelation. He said, for thou was slain. And you have received all things. He said, you have created. He said, they, they are and were created. They were created and are still being created. God did not stop creation. He only rested on the seventh day. When he rested on the seventh day, there was no need for recreation. When man spoiled things, he sent Jesus back. Let me tell you something. Remember not the former things. Are you hearing me? Tonight, don't let the devil say, even you, even you, that everybody knows you in your area to be a prostitute. So what? See, this is why when they came to the land of Jericho, because of the prophetic destiny, are you hearing me, of Rahab, he said kill everything plus the animals so that there will be no trace to our history because she was going to be the great grandmother of jesus he said destroy everything of the past tonight let me tell you something 
everything whether your mistakes whether your carelessness of the past the bible says remember not the former things how many of us are ready to receive tonight let me give you a few seconds right now i like you to think on the things you want god to do for you please don't be mechanical about this we are not doing jamboree this night think very well know what you want god to do if his husband say husband don't say a man if his wife say wife if his breakthrough say lord my heavens are short if his finances say finances if it's your ministry that is dying no growth say oh god measure a thousand cubits this night any area of your life terminal disease infections lump in your breast cancer whatever it is just believe god don't say we have been coming i came the last time i didn't receive master we have told all night they said he said nevertheless this night at thy world rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues just for one minute exercise your spirit man outside i'm telling you i see a cloud outside a mighty cloud a mighty cloud the lord is showing me a silvery cloud outside god will do mighty things outside pray in one minute cry out your expectation to god go ahead forget about your neighbor talk to the lord say lord you know that you are my last hope this night you're my last hope in this place if you do not help me there is no help again if you do not save my family if you don't change our story then let it be that there is no god but i have no option again pray that demon spirit assaulting your destiny pray enough is enough that yoke of bad luck pray christ has redeemed you by faith tonight you will enter into the experience christ has paid the price you don't need to pay it again but it takes faith to enforce that which christ has done the price has been paid it will not be paid this night that ultimate price yes lord not just a song listen to what you are saying listen to what you are saying
Aleluya. Aleluya. I hail you, most high. Lift your hands, everybody, inside and outside. I truly hail you, most high. I hail you, most high. I truly hail, hail you. Hallelujah. Hear me. The power of God is present in this place mighty. And God is going to be fishing out people and families. Hear me. Some of you will stand in for your family. Every yoke of darkness. Every curse. Every the power of God is already moving. Every curse outside i want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire hallelujah at the count of three hear me inside and outside at the count of three with all your heart you're going to shout jesus hear me the fire of the holy ghost is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way especially outside there will be mighty deliverances for you for your family members every oppression it will bow tonight because upon mount zion there shall be deliverance lift up your hands thank you father take over this meeting right now holy spirit take over this meeting take over this meeting do mighty things i give you all the glory at the count of three hear me i confront gates i confront powers in the name that is above all names out of the abundance of grace that is sufficient in this house at the count of three every devil i speak from the realm of the spirit and i confront altars by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you will bow at the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. That devil of darkness, come out. Let God's people go free outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Make them for God take it. Make them for God take it. Bring them out. Make them for God take it. Bring them out. Make them for God take it. Every act of witchcraft. Every act of divination. Every act of sorcery. Let the fire fall. I expose every power of darkness right now, right now, right now, outside, outside. There are angels of deliverance in a mighty way. Bring them out. Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. 
no enchantment, no divination against Jacob shall stand. Surely they shall gather, but because their gathering is not of the Lord, this night they will scatter. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands again. Outside. Hallelujah. Hear me. Those of you outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. God is not done with you. Please, pick them and bring them. Many of it will be a mass deliverance. Are you hearing me? Just those outside. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. It's the name above all names. Yokes are breaking. Spells are breaking. Yokes are breaking. Yokes are breaking. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, outside, angels are still moving. Outside, shake it. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right at the back, right to the back. Lord, let no devil, let no devil stand your presence. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. It's the baptism of fire. No devil will stand when in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just living. Living. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, Hear me, the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, 
you will leave them complete deliverance no hiding let the word of god search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit there be no hiding place at the count of three under this apostolic fire at the count of three you will go right now one two three go 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 come out come out come out and return no more come out come out come out and return no more come out come out there's no hiding place come out there's fire upon every devil fire shake is the fire of the holy ghost there's no hiding place listen as this is happening to you i want you to know that this is happening in your family too are you hearing me This is the spirit of death in this brother's family. The spirit of death. Right now, thou foul devil, I see you in the spirit. Go, go, come out now. Come out now. Out. Hallelujah. Let me pray for this lady. See, I'm seeing horns. Horns. This is what I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Right now, I make contact with your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. You're a wicked, foul devil of darkness. Just lay your hands on her head. In the name of Jesus. Now, come out, thou devil of darkness. There's no hiding for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, this curse of darkness is gone from this lady. Hallelujah. Also, if you have also lift your hands, anybody. Also, please, you're going to be healed now. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Now we'll take some instant testimonies. Hallelujah. We'll take some instant testimonies. Because of time, we usually don't do that. But we'll just to encourage a few people. Lift your hands inside and outside. You're suffering from peptic ulcer. It will go now. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands as I rebuke that spirit. Some of you have wounds. Those wounds will close up now. Now, not later on. Just leave them. God is not done with them until he's done. Brother, look at me. You're a great man, but let me tell you, you didn't come out for yourself. You came out for your family. Where are you from? Uh -uh, not where you're coming from. Edo State. Edo State. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is showing me a shrine with seven stones and there's kola knot in the middle. Are you listening to me? So God is setting you free. You believe that? Let me pray for you for your family. Out now! Those altars of darkness be gone forever. Please don't be quick to carry them. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, altars. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers inside and outside be healed now. Start checking yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. Check. Check. The moment you see a notable miracle, um, maybe we'll have a few, I don't know, maybe at the back, one or two people. The ministers will verify them, will take one or two testimonies. 
the Lord is showing me who is Hanatu. Hanatu, Hanatu. I'm hearing the name Hanatu. Come now, don't wait there, please. There's no time. Hanatu. Hanatu. God is visiting the family of Hanatu. You are Hanatu. Your name is Hanatu. You. Look at me. God is visiting your family. Are you hearing me? A devil of darkness. Spell and yokes of bondage. Let our family go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is not just delivering the family. God is anointing this young man. God will do mighty things. Take the anointing. You will become a mighty man of God. Mighty man of God. Hallelujah. Sister, this lady, come please. Quickly. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. I'm hearing the name Grace. Look at me. Who is Grace? I'm hearing the name Grace. Your friend? Your church member. We need to pray for Grace because death wants to take her life. Are you hearing me? Grace, that's, I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is helping me. But then the Lord is going to visit you in three things. See, listen to me. Number one, I, the Lord always shows me these things because I'm seeing marital issue. Are you married? No, sir. You married? Do you know me? Have I met with you? The Lord wants to solve that issue right now because you're looking pretty on the outside. Are you hearing me? But I'm seeing shadow. That's the only thing I'm seeing as your face in the spirit. There is no form, just shadow. But the Lord is going to set you free. Number two, who is doing a building project? Me. A building. Did you tell me this is the second thing God is going to do? Supernatural grace to complete the building project. Are you listening to me? Number three, God is blessing you in the area of business. I'm hearing business. Who does business? I do business. Are you sure? Don't just say yes. Or are you very sure? Shoes and bags. Okay. You are going to see an escalation in your business. Three th these three things. Hold my hands. Father, that yoke of bondage. I break her free from it right now. Ah, what is this thing that I'm seeing again? Do you know what I'm seeing? I'm not seeing a woman, I'm seeing a man. See, don't feel embarrassed. Who comes to oppress you in the night? You have those kind of experiences. This is the man I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Let her go. She must be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is what is stopping this marriage. I set you free. You will experience the hand of God, the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Your son name is Beatrice. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Please, let's hurry up. Your son name is Beatrice. When you have that person, please let him come out. Hallelujah. Now, if you have problem with your ears, please, we have to be fast. Ears, whether one side or if you came with anybody inside and outside, you came with anybody that is partially or completely deaf, please put your hands there right now. Put your hands right there. Some of you feel like water in your ears. Just put your hands. Please, as you're receiving miracles, some of you, I'm not mentioning your case. Just walk out, Bishop Stan and Pastor Jakes are outside. Take the courage to walk out now. Go and drop your testimony. Hallelujah. We are going to take one or two of them. The ministers are at the back. Hallelujah. They are standing. Even if the miracle has started, they will perfect it. Look at me. Come. See. Brother, come. Where were you sitting? Outside. At the back. Hold on. What happened to you? coming here for like very well but I've not felt anything so I opened up my heart what happened what happened that's the question for you vibrate me I... see the Lord Jesus because even now God has not finished one of the things God is calling you it will be a time of preparation 
but God is calling you. You're going to be a great teacher of the word. Are you hearing me? You will teach the word very prophetically. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Spirit of revelation. My God, I pray. The eye is the light of the body. Let something happen to this brother. Let there be a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. I impart upon you. Just look at my eyes. You're receiving a mighty impartation. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go outside. God is visiting people. I'm seeing some, someone healed. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast is getting healed right now. Right now. The moment it is your case, celebrate God. Check it and go out. Celebrate it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is a outside. A lady is healed. Lump in the breast. Your right breast. Outside. There's healing going on right now. A lump in the breast. Outside. A lady is being healed. Lump in the breast is going. Hallelujah. Now, blood disease blood disease i want to pray for blood disease whether hepatitis hepatitis is killing people like chickens right now whether it is hepatitis hiv aside from genotypes we'll pray for genotypes differently hallelujah but any other blood disease please lift your hands quickly quickly please lift your hands want to rebuke that devil Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you're lifting your hands, lift it because the power of God will come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, blood disease be healed. Be healed right now. Inside and outside, be healed. HIV virus, die now. In the name of Jesus, sickle cell anemia, sickle cell anemia, sickle cell anemia die right now please can we get another mic hallelujah okay let's just take one hallelujah so sir um this lady had been suffering from asthma for a long time and also sorry for a long time and she said she couldn't shout and in fact right now she's lost her voice hallelujah because god healed her wife standing outside the moment man of god said that people with ulcer god is touching them right now god touched and she was healed she began to shout and she's lost her voice hallelujah can you shout for us shout. praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord please as more miracles are happening don't just come out here to testify please now i want to pray for a woman you came you have pains it's, it's an elderly woman something i don't know if it's a growth or something please who is that please and please let's save time god is healing people right now and then i'm seeing watch this this part you're feeling sometimes you walk and it's almost like you want to fall your bone here come out you're a lady you're a lady god is showing me the lady is holding a baby this is what i'm seeing you are holding a baby whether it's your child who is that please holding a baby oh you are holding a baby where is the baby was she holding a baby because come open the flood gates of heaven where's where's the pain this is the baby this is the baby come madam you will be healed right now look at me you, you can see her limping who can see her limping can you see her limping can you see her limping madam hold my hands you believe in the power of the holy spirit lay your hands on her which of them which of them where's the pain what happened just like that that devil will leave you right now because there is a name lord jesus thank you amen come match your legs go ahead go ahead match look at look at this look at this look at this is there any pain are you feeling any pain just a little go ahead just march in the name of jesus christ now check it walk walk and come walk and come jump look at look at this 
Give Jesus a shout of praise. Open the heavens. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven? Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? Okay. One more time, everybody. Sing, let it rain. Let it rain. Open. The Lord is ministering to me. Just leave her. Five months, you are a lady here. You have not seen your period for five months. Five months. You have not seen your period. You've shared it with a few friends. Right now, this night, this night, I know there are lady ushers they will help you. Hallelujah. All kinds of menstrual issues, it will disappear. It will disappear right now. Open the floor gates of heaven. As soon as I pray for you, take her to the restroom. You will check yourself right now. Right now, that yoke of bondage. Be free now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Please take her. Please take her so she doesn't feel embarrassed. She's not the only one. There will be miracles. There are more miracles coming. Celebrate Jesus Christ. Please, can we have another mic? So that Pastor Jakes, is there another mic? Okay, it's here. Please just go to the back. Go to the back. Yes. Hallelujah. This brother's name is Dennis. 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 And while standing here, when the man of God said, she lift up her hands, and those that had ulcers, she lift up your hands. God is healing ulcer. They actually had ulcer, and it translated into asthma. Hallelujah. And while lifting up his hands, what happened? Praise the Lord. This is my first time to come here, and it leads to asthmatic. Hallelujah. As the man of God says, like, if you have, as, uh, if you have ulcer, and I believe he's going to, he's going to be healed. And as I lift up my hand, I'm having chest, chest pain. Hallelujah. But now I'm not feeling anything. It's just as cool as... Breathe, as breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Go Hallelujah. ahead. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. In and out. Any problem. No problem. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. My grain headache has just been healed. My grain headache has been healed now. My grain headache. Please check yourself. My grain headache, my grain headache has been healed. Make sure you just rush down to the back. My grain headache, thank you, Jesus Christ. My grain headache has been healed. Now, please listen. There's someone you wake up in the morning, your heart area here, your heart area pains you. It's as if your heart is tearing. When you wake up early in the morning, this thing has been happening for a long time. Who is that person? Your heart. Just, just this, you cannot even sleep on that side. Because when you rest on that side, you have serious problems. This is not the only one. I'm seeing a lady, you're a young lady. You're a young lady. Open the floor gates. Mama, does she understand English? Who brought her? Mama? Okay. What? Selena is a official outside interpreter. Ask her what's wrong with her. Make it down, Mama. Her, her hand and her legs. Her hand. Everything. This is see. The devil once is supposed to be from her head down. This is stroke. Are you seeing? This is stroke that the devil wants to bring. Tell her right now she will, she's going to be healed and she will dance miracles look at the lady who just came hallelujah you need to celebrate jesus hallelujah hallelujah while standing here worshiping god she said she's had menstrual pain for a long long time hallelujah the pain had been there and while apostle ministered to her something remarkable happened you want to hear hallelujah please we need a lady to touch her stomach. She said because she were pains, so we need somebody to verify. Now the pains are gone. Yes. The pains are gone. Yes. Press it. 
Any pain? Hallelujah. Please celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Check yourself. Don't just stand waiting. Check yourself. God is doing miracles. Even if you are outside, just Bishop and Pastor Jax are at the back. Mama, tell her. God is going to heal her right now. Ask her, does she believe? Tell her to hold my hands. The Lord Jesus sets you free. That devil, gone. Pain, gone. Come up. Tell her to come up and march. It's gone. It's gone. Look at this. It's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Lord gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Hold on. How does she feel? Is this still? Is the pain still there? She's not feeling any pain. Mama, let's match. Can you dance? Play any song for her. Look at, look at somebody who could not stand well. What kind of song do they sing? You people should learn Alsa songs for our mothers. You people don't know one Alsa song. Annie, give us one Alsa song. Come on, dance, celebrate Jesus. outside a hole in the teeth has been closed outside a hole in the teeth check yourself a hole in the teeth a hole in the teeth it has been paining you check you find out it has is gone right now right now the lord is showing me a hole in the teeth is closed the hole is closed completely please make sure you verify before coming okay Okay, repain. It's my heart. Each and every moment when I wake up in the morning, it's like it shifts and it aches really for a while now. While this moment, while I was standing right here, when this woman just received her healing, I felt it just happened immediately. Praise the Lord. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Please, if you are healed, just walk right at the back. The Lord is showing me another miracle one eye the left eye of somebody outside god is really visiting people outside the left eye you don't see well with it there's you see like an image intercepting your eye is gone right now please check it what was she okay lay your hands there thank you jesus for your healing power gone check yourself See, the anointing does not just come. Check yourself. Please don't, don't feel embarrassed to say you have to say yes. No. If it doesn't happen, say it. We'll pray for you here. Check yourself. Check yourself very well. Do what you couldn't do. Can you? 
any pain i'm still waiting for the lady someone the, i think the did i say left or right now breast lump breast lump is gone is gone check it don't don't wait check check and go outside pastor jakes is there they are busy verifying people's cases inside or outside hallelujah praise the lord now um this is very interesting there's a family here that has been suffering delay and god is going to solve the problem in a very dramatic way wait 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 listen the power of god is going to carry the person from where he is the person will run out here with such speed this is a sign that this is what god is doing hallelujah this is what the sign that god gave me this is very interesting the way the holy spirit walks sign and wonders here from outside from outside the power of god will pick the person he will run with the spirit of elijah is from outside lord let it happen according to your word i give you praise and i give you glory you will come out under a tremendous influence of the spirit it's a sign that this is what god is doing please let's continue before the person comes out you will come out certainly this is the word of the lord now i'm seeing a baby that is sick you came with a baby that is sick please who is the person the baby cries in the night please hurry up quickly because pastor jakes will still come up here and bishop stand ah whatever mountain will not has not answered to it will answer to you this night who is this this is the baby that is sick what's wrong with her in 2000 Open the floodgates of heaven. 2003, she was sick, so we took her to the hospital and they transfused her. After them, she was. One more person again, this same experience for one more person outside. One more person outside is going to happen again. One more person by the power and the influence of the Spirit. This is a sign and a wonder. God is restoring delay in families the power of god will just pick you from the crowd and bring you here with tremendous speed let's listen they transfused her and after what did they say is wrong with her the doctor confirmed that she has hiv with the transfusion of blood she has hiv that's what the doctor confirmed that what HIV positive. That devil is a liar. Come, my dear. Look at me. What's her name? How can a girl bear the name Favor and still have HIV? You see how demonic Satan is? The Bible says a man was sitting at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation. A lady, this is like Jabez, but tonight like the prayer of Jabez. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Hallelujah. You will go and test her. You will come back with a testimony. We will change it. HIV is a spirit. And it will bow. Sweetheart, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Yeah. Just leave her. And test her. She's free. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? There's another mighty miracle. Another mighty miracle. I tell you, God is doing wonders in this place tonight. Listen. Hallelujah. Apostles is amazing. Listen. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the word of knowledge you gave about a woman, a lady outside with the with the lump. Lump. The lady with the lump. Listen. How okay, how long has it been? Please help us. Mm, for like two years. How long? Two years. Right now. It's gone. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 
Lift your hands. Look at me. Lift your hands. Lord, let your power come upon her. You will perfect this right now. That which you have started, let it be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing. I'm telling you, God is doing amazing things. So if your miracle has started, Bishop is praying. Jake, they are praying. We are very serious. Don't go back. Don't go back. A wrist has just been healed. You feel a pain. In fact, there used to be like a growth. Check it. It has disappeared. Check it right now. It has disappeared. Check it. It has disappeared. Check it. God is doing mighty miracles. Check it. It has disappeared. Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing a woman. There are objects that move in your body. Serious objects. It moves sometimes to your legs. Sometimes to your chest. Hallelujah. Right now as I pray, you are going to be free and you find out that you are free. You are feeling light. Please, when that happens to you, go down. The ministers are seriously praying there. Father, in the name of Jesus, this demonic thing, this demonic thing, this demonic yoke of darkness, let it leave your body right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Come, my sister. What's your name? Grace. Grace. When I was speaking to a lady here and I said, Grace, I was, my eyes was being fixed. Are you married? We are going to visit marriage issues now. Just get ready. We are going to deal ruthlessly with that devil. Are you hearing me? Marriage is a good thing. Say it. Again. Say it one more time. Every good and perfect gift. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? That means every bad and imperfect gift comes from where? I tell you the truth. God is going to visit marriages right now. Look at me. Men don't come to you. Anybody that comes, they just mock you. They run away. They do all of these things. Some even insult you. Can I tell you something? You are wonderfully and fearfully made. I hope you know that God does mighty marriage miracles in this place. So when we are talking about marriage, look at another. Miracles are happening like, I tell you, there is an open heaven. And this is what happens once there is praise. Please make sure the, the mic is set. Let's take this testimony. Yes, sir. Come, sister. Hallelujah. Apostle, when you gave a word for the woman, you said somebody's something was moving in movement her. in her body yes, exactly she's this is the person she movement she had an accident some days ago and since then she's been having funny movement movement in, in your body even standing here in the meeting she was still having that any movement right now in your body lay your hands on your on your stomach no not on your stomach not your legs thank you jesus christ Amen, sir. jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus You're free, completely free. Give Jesus a big hand. Sister, I'm going to put, look at me. What are you doing? You are a teacher. Yes, sir. Eh? Government secondary school. I'm going to pray for you. Why don't they like you? What is all this thing I'm saying? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Do you know me? Did we discuss this? Because I'm seeing real hatred. They hate this woman. Eh? I'm seeing Chuck. Chuck, you are a teacher. What are you teaching? Okay, you did promise me they teach everything. Oh, okay. Let me pray for you. Look at me. That devil is a liar and you should settle down. Do you believe me? Ah, wait. Come, come, come. This one is oppression. No, this one is not just. Let her go. That wicked, foul devil of darkness. Let her go now. Let her go. Come out of her right now. Let her go. Thou devil of darkness. Release her right now. With a mighty shout. Go. Go. Now, please, if
if there is a woman here you've suffered barrenness or a man anything that you have not given but come out here quickly please quickly quickly bishop is still coming and jakes we have to hurry up there's a video that will happen here please come out quickly you you must be married though except if you are standing for somebody don't be emotional about it please please be looking at your neighbor if you are from the same place go back somebody has come to represent another person we will have miracle children in this place look at look how many people the devil is stopping them from enjoying i mean some of them are standing in for their loved ones look at look at this look at this it looks like they're coming out to give offering but this is this is lack of lack of children you see the relevance of meetings like this listen to me who is standing for herself or for himself for yourself for yourself come here please quickly those who are standing for others this way for yourself look at me are you together she's your wife oh both of you are standing for yourself where's your husband he traveled i'm seeing a baby girl go and write it hallelujah can i pray for you hold my hands see let me tell you sister look at me you will come back here with your baby girl and testify you believe that lord confirm your word with power right now thank you jesus you are set free ah you're on his marriage why didn't you wait the guy just say okay no 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 don't see don't laugh it doesn't mean you should do it anyway but don't laugh it's coming out look at me you believe that there is supernatural grace for marriage here yeah? when when are you when is the wedding eh? hold my hands according to the time of life i speak to you under the unction of the spirit before the end of this month you will be in a very godly serious relationship with a serious lady that is virtuous and love God father of spirits connect them you are the father of spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God bless you wow mighty miracles again are happening you too you for yourself lay your hands on your stomach come because I'm seeing something else what did the doctor say Whatever that means well we shall know this is not from god whatever it is pid eid we'll pray whatever it is and see look at me wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name at least the men don't understand some of them but the ladies you understand what she said abby do you understand or not we're going to pray look at me it will go and you will give birth to a lot of children what will stop you is discipline not lack of are you hearing what i'm saying i wish your husband were here oh, because he's not only you i'm supposed to pray for where is he just pray for him thank you jesus just lay your hands there father perfect her the power of god is coming upon you and that devilish thing is leaving you right now return with testimonies Return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's hear Pastor Jakes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Apostle, when you give the word for somebody outside that God was feeling the person's teeth. Feeling the person's teeth. How many of you remember? Two this of her teeth. Two of her teeth had been removed. Can you open your mouth? Don't feel embarrassed. Two of her teeth has been removed. Look at. Sorry. I this is bad. Viewers discretion. I'm sorry, don't feel bad. We are disciplined people. But just so that we we'll celebrate God, check, no hole. Look at this. No hole. I can't see any hole here. There was, your teeth was removed. Two teeth. Two teeth was removed. Who knows her? Who knows her? Is it true that the teeth was removed? Who is that? Yes. Yes. 
it's, it's true. You are sure of that. Her name is Dorcas. Look at, and the teeth has been filled supernaturally. Give Jesus a big, Hallelujah. big hand, big hand, big hand of praise. Hallelujah. Now, all of you that are standing for any, see, if you are standing for anybody, when you go back, send the person a text and say, I just stood in for you now. Believe and receive. Are you hearing me? Send them a text. Don't let them roam around. You are here suffering to stand in for them. They are not connecting again. Hallelujah. And because you are standing here, it's impossible for you to face anything called barrenness. I hope you know that. The Bible says, and when Job prayed for his friends, God turned his own captivity. Job 42 verse 10 and 11. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Look at as many people. Lift your hands. Some of you, the power of God will come upon you on behalf of the people there my god children the bible says are a heritage from the lord and father you have made this place an apostolic ground in this city where there are tangible proofs evidences that jesus is alive right now i pray according to the measure of grace every yoke of bondage hear me every curse every fibroid low spam count every devil of darkness that is responsible for impotency or barrenness be lifted now in the name of Jesus be lifted now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon some of you on behalf of your family members I release miracle children. I release miracle children. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. On behalf of those you are standing for, they will come back rejoicing, testifying. Every spirit of darkness responsible for unfruitfulness. If they don't have womb, we create new wombs now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Return back rejoicing. Send them a text that they have been prayed for. And let me tell you, see, listen, hold on, hold on. There are some who take in but lose the child. Is that true? Lift your hands on behalf of them because some is not that they don't take in. They take in one month, two months, they just wake up. In the morning and they just see blood that devil is a liar are you hearing me tonight is miracle service my god i pray the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand will perfect it i pray no more miscarriage in the name of jesus everyone standing here return with dramatic testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please go back rejoicing god bless you Pastor Jakes, Bishop Stan, please come. Please come. They'll just be ministering to you in a few minutes. Hallelujah. I know that there are areas that they'll minister to you. While that is happening, pass the prayer request, please. This is a time for God to visit your case. Please, as you are passing it, be praying in tongues. As you are passing it, be praying in tongues. Say, Lord, this is it. My time has come. If they didn't call you, your prayer point will call your case now. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Pastor Jake, so just minister by the grace of God and then Bishop Stan, sir. Please write your prayer request quickly.
your hands as I pray for you. Whatever you're trusting the Lord for, and Lord communicates to me for some of you, especially God will touch you. Hmm. God's going to be touching some of you, especially what you've desired from Him. Specifically, some of you, God is going to be activating some anointing upon your life. An unusual kind of anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I'm sensing it being poured on somebody's head. There are people, the Lord will be pouring it upon your head. Parido fine tangro sticky vantahi. Lingo supra tika tareboste. Randa kai. One of you, the anointing will be so heavy on your leg. Heavy, heavy. They will literally have to carry you out of this place. <laughs> they will literally have to carry you out of this place. Blessing, blessing. God is blessing some people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessings, God is blessing you. Please, those of you that are serving presently, like leaders in fellowship, just lift up your hands. Specifically, those ones. The Lord wants to reward you. God will touch you. He will reward you. God will reward you right now. Those of you serving, the Lord will reward you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you. The Lord will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord will surprise you. Thank you, Jesus. that person it's a is your pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having unusual stomach pains your pancreas i think pancreas should be in stomach right pancreas 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 that's why here pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having that problem right now i pray for you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i release healing let healing come to your body in the name of Jesus, let healing come to your body. Healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is going to be touching some people's eyes and you begin to have visionary experiences. The Lord is going to be touching. You'll feel like fire in your eyes as I pray with you right now. You'll feel like fire in your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. You begin to have visionary experiences. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. The wind of God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of God touches your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While Apostle was ministering, God told me about somebody amongst us and I don't know there might be more than one um, the devil gives you food to eat in the dream and when you are done eating that food you become heavy I don't mean physically spiritually let me clear this it's possible for God to do an impactation for you it's possible for God to do an impactation for you in the dream by giving you food, angel's bread. It's a spiritual one. But this one I'm talking about, the devil ministers it to you in the dream. And when you are done eating it, you wake up and feel less spiritual. You feel this heaviness upon your body and upon your spirit. If you are the one, I would like to pray with you. She's one of them. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that spirit in the name 
of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. Go! In the name of Jesus. Go! Thank you, Father. I thank you in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I declare freedom freedom in the name of Jesus you are free in Jesus name thank you Jesus he will minister to you who dropped this picture what happened to the baby is dead the baby was born crippled. That devil is a liar. What did they say? No socket. This baby will stand and will walk. Let me tell you, if your prayer request gets here, it will be answered. Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Just three things and we'll be done. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children will surround your table. Remember we always share the scripture here. Please make sure you really lift your hands. Please lift inside and outside. I pray right now. Especially for those that have exceeded the normal time. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? The normal time that should happen. You're a man. You can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you. And now, as I'm praying this prayer, hear me. God is going to visit people. But some of you, if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the Lord, stop it this night. Praise God. You can't be sleeping around hopping around from man to man one army officer to another one one banker to another one and then say i don't have a husband no no the bible says come out from among them and be ye separate we are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal hallelujah praise the lord so as you are lifting up your hands make sure that you are making a commitment no sex before marriage don't let anybody deceive you. I'm saying it straight to the point. Hallelujah. No sex before marriage. No caressing. No all this nonsense that people do. No. Don't, don't open up yourself for demons. You tie your soul with demonic things. Be sure that you are going to keep many Christian relationships are not pure. Because a lot of people think everybody is doing it. No. Not everybody is doing it. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand upon his own? So, sister, just get it straight. Don't say yes to any brother who plans to just, if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait, whatever is pursuing him, let him carry it out of your life. Hallelujah. I need to say this before I pray for you. God is not a magician. Are you listening to me? This is not a herbal center. This is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles hallelujah so make sure as you are standing here to receive you are serious with God and you've been involved in all these things I'm talking about stop it this night stop it this night hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you lift your hands father you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness and father this night i pray for your people inside and outside and our online community i declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost be free from it now 
be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of Jesus and I pray that anyone here who is under any yoke because there are some of you it's not just you all the ladies in your house some you notice that you marry almost at age 40 no matter what you do no matter how decent you are you will never just get a faithful man some of you is married men that keep chasing you as young as you are you can't get a godly brother you are coming to church you are serving in church the brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker and then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age who will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repato telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you brothers i release you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please is this all the prayer requests in one minute we are going to pray and then there are three areas three more areas i need to speak finance breakthrough this is very important please keep your spirit open if possible just be praying in tongues let me invite the ministers pastor williams please come bishop come we are going to pray pastor williams is going to lead us hallelujah let me tell you something as the servant of god is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing i want you to be, this is not a ritual don't take it as a ritual the scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the bible says how that listen 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 hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me a threat letter was written and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Jehovah, Father of all spirits, the great I am. Mayida subi grones in amakata sata liza pata shekabara the one that divided the red sea lika zipra te shete baba the one that released manna pour release manna from heaven chova in the name of your son Jesus Christ I pray for miracles 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 upon this prayer request miracles visitations miracles visitation far above far above what they have written far above far above connection completion perfections in the name of jesus completions perfections in the name of jesus miracles miracles visitation divine visitation jehovah jehovah miracle worker upon this request breathe upon it breathe upon it breathe upon it let there be miracles let your people testify in the name of jesus in the name of jesus thank you lord bless your name jehovah 
in Jesus name we pray it is done in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah we are a prosperous ministry are you hearing what I'm saying we are a prosperous ministry mysteriously prosperous by the hand of God I believe in prosperity are you hearing what I'm saying I believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty you cannot help the poor by being one of them are you hearing me and I want to pray for you please believe lift your hands see listen the irrefutable laws of prosperity remains tithing kingdom investments and your givings they open the heaven and position you and then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas favor wisdom the blessings of god upon your hands strength and long life hallelujah i want to encourage everybody please bring out a seed i can't pray for you for prosperity just like that please please this if you don't have a revelation of what we are doing just keep your seat please this is not some i won't help you let me tell you the truth i'm not going to help you it's not just about saying receive no please god has blessed you you can help somebody by your side please please bring out something that will cost you some of you are greedy and stingy see let me tell you something i pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life many of you think god is out to rob you can't outgive god hallelujah the secret of prosperity is giving it will never change there are many of you god has been speaking to you you won't listen i can't tell you how many times god has instructed me to empty my accounts if you see if your heart is still on prosperity god will never give you he said my son give me your heart until you conquer greed you are not entitled to handle true riches are you hearing what i'm saying please bring out a seed some of you will bring out something that will cost you let me tell you don't pity yourself don't pity yourself at all don't make foolish impulsive decisions are you hearing me we are not manipulating people don't make stupid decisions that you come outside and no no make some of you god is speaking to you right now some of you need to stand for your families honestly honestly see if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed it means we are fake something is wrong are you hearing me i tell you this this prosperity oil there is an oil it will come upon some of you in a fearful way please inside and outside i beg you if you don't have a seed can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seed please connect allow the person hold your hands don't feel bad please stand up everybody this is a very serious thing lift your hands and lift your seed hear me solomon there was a sacrifice upon the altar and Solomon said, Oh God, oh God, attend unto your people whenever they call you that you will respond. And the Bible says the glory, the Shekinah of God came and filled that room. I'm praying, I'm praying. See, I tell you, it, it, it pains my heart. It pains. We want you the full gospel. You must represent the kingdom in its entirety. We don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money no are you hearing what i'm saying please lift some of you what will come upon you is the giving grace because honestly for some of you is greed greed even to yourself lift it up i want to pray oh god has given us this anointing and i want to pray my god it will happen it's going to come on like fire it will fall on many of you please help me my god i pray the oil of prosperity 
the power to get wealth at the count of three my god let it fall mightily right now one two three take it take it take it take it take it shake it, take it, take it. I activate it outside I activate it let fire come upon your seed I give your seed a voice in the spirit it took a sacrifice to put your family in poverty we use this sacrifice to bring them out of poverty it took a sacrifice to enter a covenant of poverty we take this seed and bring you into the realm of blessing. Psalm 66 verse 12. He said, Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through waters and through fire. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. My God. You know we are not fake. We are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people. I pray, my God, I give your seed a voice and I instruct it. Go around the earth, gather your kind and return back to the owner. I prophesy under this apostolic unction. I speak to your seed. Go around the earth. Gather your kind. Go around the earth. Gather your kind. Go around the earth. Gather your kind and return a hundredfold. Hallelujah. Please cast your seeds with joy quickly. Help me. Please bring the offering basket. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Finally, before the altar call, break tools. There are families that need major breakthroughs. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, your, the way from the day they gave birth to you, you have never celebrated entering a house that God gave your own family. Embarrassment after embarrassment. Every time they start a building project, rain will wash it or something satanic will happen. Breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away. Lift your hands. The Bible says, Thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. Thou shalt break forth. Please receive it. Some of you need to call your loved ones and say, Look, a prayer was prayed. There are some houses that have been built. Ten years. Ten years is a cost. It's a cause, I'm telling you. There are some people, they are, they are lecturers, but they are still begging for money to feed. This is, this is the yoke of bondage. There are families that live from hand to mouth. Some of you, as you are looking at me now, you are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family, as young as you are. It ought not to be so. The Bible says a good man liveth an inheritance not taken from his children's children lift your hands please where is the god that brings breakthrough where is that god that changed the story of samaria by the mouth of the prophet where is that god that instructed the prophet to say by this time my god and my king i pray for koinonia in the name of jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of Moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to Abuja we send it to Zaria we send it to Kobe State we send it to Lagos we send it to Kaduna like the angel of death visited his home this night this night, this night, I speak, this night, let this anointing go to families and create the Garden of Eden. Let it create the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. How many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors? How many of you have noticed it? Have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens? How many of you know it's not normal? See, the Bible says they know not. You do not know what is happening. This night, this night, the angel of the Lord will move across Abu. Are you hearing me? Altars of darkness will be destroyed. See, this is why God put centers like this. To legislate on behalf of territories. The apostolic grace is not for making mouth. It's for taking charge. It's a rule thou in the midst of your enemies. The church is the light of the world. The church cannot be here and things are happening. If your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer, I want you to lift your hands. We want to prophesy that oil of exemption. Hallelujah. It's terrible. People are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next. I pray for you. See, when the angel of death, hear me, when the angel of death came to Goshen and Egypt, the angel of death killed everybody. It's just that when he came, he found out that some houses were already killed. When he saw blood on their house, he said, these people are already died. And he passed by. I pray, that blood of sprinkling, that blood, he said, when I see the blood, Rabato Koparatata, not by accident, not by terrorism. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Every lecturer in APU and in all the institutions in this town, Rakagagagagabakata. Palataka, because I already see the arrows of death on some lecturers the Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing that between now and December 4 I see four other professors going but we stop it we change it in the name of Jesus we stop it we change it we stop it we change it we stop it He said, the heaven of heavens. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. But the earth has he given. Now let me pray for you. You, 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 you have no covenant with death. We are entering the ember months now. Hallelujah. Please, see, take seriously the things that happen here. Are you hearing me? Liver is the power of God that is bringing her upstage. It's a sign and a wonder. Just cover her. Hallelujah. Please, we're out of time. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. See, listen. Hear me, those inside and outside. Never believe hear me please now and i don't want you to feel bad i know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones we've stood by you but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for satan and say he can ride into your family anytime are you hearing what i'm saying every time death is ravaging people god will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry I want to pray for you. Ember month is the time when people, look at how many people just graduate from ABU. Going back, they die. Don't tell me that's the will of God. Some of you, as they are giving your parents work, that's it. If there is a shrine, there is a greater shrine. See, this is the speaking of altars. Every altar speak us that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things I want to speak on behalf of people lift your hands please because many of us travel there are some of us who are in business you travel to Lagos you travel to Cotonou
some of you are moving around some of you are coming from different places my dugu rejoice bauchi come out of her now out out of her now a very violent spirit lift your hands say after me father in the name of jesus i declare that i am protected from the arrows that fly by day and the noisome pestilence i declare that throughout this year i have no covenant with the spirit of death say death hear my voice i am an ambassador and in the name of jesus the seal of the blood is upon me i am protected my family members are protected father in the name of jesus i believe your word and i declare that i enjoy supernatural preservation in my going out and in my coming in say in my going out and in my coming in therefore i pray for you that as you have declared let your eyes live to see the experience in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah you've not given your heart to jesus please remain standing everyone here please remain standing hallelujah you have not given your heart to the lord jesus christ this is a family this is where we are ready to introduce you to the love of your life the bible says whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away many of us have been struggling you've been struggling some of you are born again you've given your heart to the lord truly but there are encumbrances pushing you away from God. Right now, please everybody stand. I know you've been standing. Please stand for one last time. Inside and outside, let's honor God. And let's honor the greatest miracle that is about to happen. Young and old, rich or poor, as you hear my voice, the Holy Ghost is going to be talking to some of you. And he's going to tell you it is time. The Bible says in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you have found yourself derailing. I don't care what you have done. There is a home for you tonight. As everybody begins to appreciate them, I want you to leave your seat and come out right now. Everybody come out from outside. God bless you. Outside sister, brother, don't sit back. People are coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't sit back. Don't wait for somebody to come. Please keep clapping, Koinonia. No devil will stop you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. They are coming. Please appreciate them. Don't sit back. There are a lot of you outside. God is speaking to you. Brothers, God is speaking to a lot of brothers outside. Don't let your friends stop you. Don't let your friends stop you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Thank God for the harvest. Keep coming. Keep coming. The devil that will stop you from being saved has been defeated. Keep coming. Keep coming. God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon, and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget 
to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.